How was the y'all was popping in? Steve about to react to this vid by Impressive. This is Chris Brown jumps Usher and disrespects Tiana Taylor. Chris needs accountability, not forgiveness. Uh-oh. Impressive about to go off. What in the hell is going on? Why Usher? <laughs> I thought they were cool. I feel like I saw Usher speaking highly of him somewhere. So, th this is really surprising, but but sure, let's see what happened. Let's watch. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Impressive Channel. Now, it's been reported by Hollywood Unlocked that Chris Brown and his crew jumped Usher at a party. Now, this story is crazy, but for some reason, it doesn't sound that out of pocket. So far, the actual fight between them yeah, was they not cool, caught right? on camera. However, no one has come out and denied this either, which I find to be very suspicious and it's even more i see another video on the side saying that uh new footage has come out so apparently something was caught on camera we're gonna we're gonna get into that at the end of the video or suspicious to me that usher's son actually hinted that something did happen so honestly son, I think how old is his kid even though there's no footage of it a few sources said that it did happen according I to thought he had little baby mom, Usher threw Chris Brown a surprise party in Las Vegas. It was a skate party and it was supposed to be fun. There were a lot of celebrities there. Omarion was there. Summer Walker was there. Mario Bow Wow was there. Tiana Taylor was there. And it looked like some good vibes. In fact, if you see some of the videos, you can see a lot of them were laughing and having a good jolly time. So what exactly happened? What shifted? Well, according to sources, it was said that the party went downhill after Chris Brown reportedly got disrespectful with Tiana Taylor. Now, according hmm, to LoveBeast.com, Chris was angry that Tiana was at his party because Tiana pulled out of the tribute that he was supposed to give to Michael Jackson at the AMAs. She pulled out at the last minute, and Chris believes that her pulling out is one of the big reasons why his tribute to MJ was canceled. Now, that's not the reason we heard. We heard the mm. producers of the AMAs actually canceled Chris's performance because of Chris's violent history. However, it seems like Chris still has an issue with Tiana over that, and they haven't been on good terms so since. So why she pull up? So he was upset to see her at his party. Tiana told Love B. Scott that Chris's behavior was out of line and he was on one and he was doing the most and it's kind of messed up to hear I because Tiana thing. has always stuck by Chris over the years. She was always loyal to him. Throughout Even the when Rihanna Chris situation. Brown had that incident with Rihanna mm -hmm. and he was canceled by the whole industry. Tiana was the one who stood in his corner. She said that he was her brother. Me and Rihanna is cool. You understand what I'm saying? Like, well, we used to be cool. But at the, at the end of the day, my loyalty is with my brother. So Tiana picked the side, and in retrospect, it probably wasn't a good idea, but Ooh. at the time, she considered Chris to be her brother. So to hear that he disrespected her is messed up, and I'm trying to figure out where was Tiana's husband, Iman Shumpert, because right. I know if Iman was Why there, Chris herself? would not have been bold enough to even do that. Either way, right, it's that messed up that nigga. Chris came for Tiana like that, and TMZ was able to catch some footage of the riff before the actual fight took place outside. Now, a source said that Chris was very intoxicated at this party when he approached Tiana, mm. and Usher tried to intervene. He was trying to play the peacemaker and calm everybody down. You know, Usher, he's really cool, he calm, like and collected. He he's never involved in any drama like that. Yeah, so why would you do this to, to Usher? He's, he's just good, positive vibes. Aww. However... Chris Brown didn't like the fact that Usher got involved and allegedly he called him a coward and left the room. Now the drama continued on outside and Usher tried to follow Chris Brown and according to the source again, Chris Brown and his crew attacked Usher. They attacked wow. an R&B legend, y'all. This is absolutely <laughs> crazy. Usher invited this man out. He threw him a party. He sang happy birthday to him. He even praised him. I'm laughing at her saying an R&B legend, y'all. Not that he got jumped, because that's fucked up. Knows. I mean, they attacked Usher. Usher has been nothing but kind to Chris. Girl, we don't know that. All right, let's, let's chill out. <laughs> we don't know that. Well, it does appear that way, though. 
Well, yeah, it's, okay. Like, it appears, it appears. Like. <laughs> so, like. what the fuck? What? For life? You were great. You were a legend. Wow. We love you. Wow, and he still we beat your ass. You wow, that's you crazy. Work. Not I the Ursha Raymond. I love you more. Chris, you done gone too <laughs> goddamn far. Yeah. Chris Brown, Usher versus. Yeah. You know, would you would you have done or would you do something like a versus? Yeah, man, me and Chris will kill the world if we ever did something together like that. I'm not saying it's versus, but right. I will I'm gonna just say this. If that ever happens, it'll be one of the biggest things that anybody has ever experienced in entertainment mm -hmm. in celebration of two people who love each other because I yeah. love Chris. I don't yeah, like man. him. I don't like his music. I love his music. I yeah. love him. He's my little Aww. brother. He's always been there for me and I've always what been there. What the fuck? There ups and down times. I've been there with him. And, um, you know, for us to be able to celebrate what we do together, man, that'll be crazy. So Usher has made it clear that he loves Chris. He looks at Chris like Damn. a mother. Damn. So when I heard the story about Usher and Chris getting into an altercation, I was like, what in the world? This is so random to hear. But Very. unfortunately, That's I'm I wasn't completely shocked by it. Usher and Chris haven't confirmed or denied anything as of yet. I don't yet. think they will. I do know they're supposed to do the Lovers and Friends Festival, so they might squash it on Damn. stage later on. Who knows? Or they might not address it at all. Maybe Chris won't even show up to the festival. But it's clear that Chris really needs to get his act together. It's not a secret that Chris Brown has issues with substance abuse. And a anger lot issues. Of his he needs some fucking therapy. Has been due to his abuse of drugs and alcohol. Let's be real. Also, he has a serious problem with his temper. And he has been given chance after chance after chance after chance. And it's like... How many chances is the public going to give him for him to change? I mean, that's this is getting ridiculous does. at this point. Chris Brown they cancel is niggas temporarily. It's time for him to grow up for real. And there should be no excuses made for him at this point. People like to make the excuse that he was young and he made a mistake and people deserve second chances. But no, at this point, he needs to really change because one day he might run into the wrong person. Okay. And things could take a fatal turn. So he's lucky that he was in an environment where people actually care about him. People care so much about him that they're not even willing to say what happened. That's the crazy thing. They're still trying to protect him. So Chris has been given a lot of grace. And that probably has been enabling him in a way. And I think at this point he needs to take accountability for his actions. Now, the only thing that can make up for this whole incident is if Chris agrees to do a versus with Usher. Girl! A versus battle at this point is the only thing that can wipe away this negative publicity. And Chris has been kind of avoiding the versus talk with Usher because what? he doesn't want that smoke. He knows that Usher is going to watch him vocally. So I don't think he wants the smoke. But he owes it to Usher. And he has to make up for this incident. Also, he owes Usher and Tiana Taylor an apology. Also, Chris Brown needs to check himself into rehab. Say no to drugs, people. Say no to drugs. Anyway, tell me what you... Okay, this is a video that B with the T posted, and apparently there's audio of Chris cursing out Tiana Taylor. A video has surfaced of Usher and Chris Brown kind of arguing at the party and you can kind of hear him saying F her. Now this is Chris Brown talking and it sounds like he's referring to Tiana Taylor. Now I'm going to play the clip. It's a lot of music playing in the background so you guys are just going to have to listen real carefully. Oh, I'm listening. Now, I know it was kind of oh, hard he to hear what he was saying. Okay. I couldn't make and out every fail. single word, but I did hear him say, I don't care and F her. So, he was going off. I don't know what was going on between himself and Tiana Taylor, but yeah, he was highly upset. Ooh. But this is what fans had to say. Oh, I don't care about that. Oh, he most definitely said, fuck her. Fuck her. And then almost fell in them goddamn skates. I know you lying. Christopher. Christopher Maurice Brown. 
you need to get it together. Is that his middle name? I feel like I heard somebody say <laughs> I might be making that up. But you need some therapy, brother, some meditation, something. He is always in some shit with somebody. Like, wh what's happening? And it's so interesting because uh, I just reacted to that playback video yesterday. And uh, they were saying in that vid how, oh, women never get canceled. And men, they get canceled at the drop of a hat. They don't get second chances. Chris Brown has gotten a million fucking chances. And although he cries about getting uh, canceled or blackballed or whatever the case, I reacted to a whole video that talks about his sales, his concerts sell out, his albums do really well. Like, he's not negatively affected as far as his success goes. Maybe in the public eye, people talk shit about him online, but okay. As far as his success goes, he's still able to have a pretty lucrative career so it's wild that he continues to act out like this like what the fuck <laughs> and apparently you know she's saying that he wasn't on good terms with tiana taylor and i think that is a bit odd if she just pulled up knowing that they you know not not you know, in a good place, but that doesn't give him the right to curse her out and do all that extra shit. And then you had the audacity to <laughs> jump Archer. What? Jump him? Like that is wild. I need more details about this. I, I need more shit to come out because I cannot. And as much love as this man has shown you, like that's wild. And clearly he was just trying to talk to you. If he's coming after you, I'm sure he wasn't on no rah-rah shit. He came after you to, you know, try to calm you down and talk to you about like, hey man, what's up? Why you do that? That wasn't right. You know, it's like a big brother and you just start beating his ass. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, that is crazy. Chris definitely needs to get it together. But we've been saying this for how long at this point? That he needs to get it together and he needs to do better. But is he doing any better? No, it seems like he's not learning. And people cancel him, you know, online for short periods of time until a new song come out that they fuck with. And then it's like nothing ever happened. And then when he goes on tour, his shit sells out all the time. When, when he drops an album, y'all are buying that shit. <laughs> so he's not being negatively affected, you know, regardless of, of how, you know, crazy he's acting. So... Yeah, it's really unfortunate that he continues to act this way. He's in his mid-30s at this point. It's like, nigga, you got to grow up. You got kids. Like, this is really sad. It's really sad to see. But I feel for Usher. I really do. This is fucked up. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you're going to be watching. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.